In breaking news now, there are reports tonight the SANFL has reversed its decision to allow the Crows to play in their state-coloured Guernsey in next month's showdown at Adelaide Oval. The jumper has caused enormous controversy since it was revealed yesterday and has been widely criticised by local football legends. Our most decorated living state player, Lindsay Head, believes yesterday's announcement degraded the jumper he's worn 37 times. I class it as being disrespectful to the players of the past and uh, who earned the right to wear the jumper and I'm sure that most of them would be uh, really hurt by this action. The Triple McGarry medalist and Crows supporter believes his club has succumbed to the marketing dollar. He'll boycott the match if the Guernsey is worn. If they're running out in the state jumper, jumper I won't be there. Other state heroes have echoed his sentiments. To wear a, a state Guernsey is you've you got to earn it, you've got to be a part of the state, play for the state and that's when you play it. I think the state game, look, it is sacred. South Australian players have worn that jumper. Um, history my old man did in the 60s and myself and a lot of my mates did so it, it probably should be left as that. Even former captain Mark Rusciuto is against the move. Whether they should be wearing it or not, I, I, I think probably not. I'm not, uh, I don't think they should be selling it. The Crows were today standing by their decision, releasing a club interview with the Victorian in line to toss the coin in an SA jumper. Uh, it certainly does resemble the state jumper, I suppose, but at the end of the day, it's a Crows jumper. They're our colours and we'll represent it that way. Port Adelaide questioned not only the move, but its timing during a showdown. This Guernsey is a symbol of South Australian football unification, not division. But opinion is divided, even from those outside of football. As a South Australian, I'm disappointed to see the, uh, the Crows donning a, a, state, a state Guernsey. And outside the state, Kevin Sheedy tweeting he feels for the power. Next thing, the Sydney Swans will say they own New South Wales. Vicky Schwartz, Nine News.